why do you think then brands are still neglecting the power of emotion, that emotional insights in their approach to growing business then? Because in the before days, because in the past, it was enough to have a product and a value proposition. Mm. I have a product and it works. And it's easier than Samsung making it up. If there isn't an emotional connection, your longevity with that product, you might be buying it once, you don't buy it twice. New brands, by and large, don't understand that. Brands that have been around, that have spoken to consumers, that have taken the time to understand the customer journey, need to know that that emotional connection and that relationship. See, at the end of the day, you are in a relationship with a brand. A brand is in a relationship with a consumer. That relationship can go up and down, but when the going gets tough, does that relationship stand the, 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 it can stand the, 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 the test of time? And when you look at brands that actually take the time to emotionally connect with their consumers and understand what makes them tick, they have the longevity. Mm. 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 So that is your practices on how brands out there can, can create these limbic sparks. Without limbic sparks, you have a very limited opportunity. If you are not connecting to the seat of consciousness in your brain, and you're not building a neural pathway between yourself and a brand, it's a short-lived relationship. So why not understand what that relationship's potential is, understand what are the milestones in that relationship that need to occur, and actually deliver on that. For more, go to limbicsparks.com.